Okay, hello everybody, and welcome back to Dragon Age Inquisition, where we're gonna make a thing. And which involves going to the table. Pretty sure. Ah, right, 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 right. right. From getting infected. Gather as many as you can. Yes, yes, yes. The strangest thing, though. I can't recall where I heard that. I think I remember a young man. A young man? Not me. Cassandra's standing very stiff. There's a there's a table in here is why I'm going in here. Hey guy. Murder knife. Craft. Symbolic dagger, dagger not intended for combat, but it does produce a weapon. The process is an acknowledgement of purpose and commitment. The result is a killer, not a blade. Nice. We are all <laughs> <to serve. laughs> I'm so excited. All right, landmarks, get off my screen. Skippy. Oh, I forgot, check, I forgot to check those off in the collections. I know, I was told forever ago in my last playthrough that if you get rid of all the glowing things on in your journal, whoa, that uh, your companions are more likely to converse. So, do completed. Do I have to do completed quests too? Wait. Wave the assassin in your heart. Okay. And now it's just gonna go freaking out. It's gonna go. Oh, everything! Everything that you've done. Let's just let's just blast it to the heavens. I think I have been keeping a uh, keeping up on it pretty good. Come on, Theron Paul Redoubt. I didn't. Uh, that's annoying. And now it's yeah, it's gonna be like invulnerability. Oh wait, they were way over here. I was thinking they were here. They are not over here. The mages were over there. Oh. You're carrying a heavy burden for one so young. I'll carry it back to Crestwood and kill those bandits. That's what father would have wanted. Eh. He'd want you to live a good life. He's dead. You didn't know him. Are you a sister or I don't really look like one? They are dead, and the steps are done. It was, of course, simple. He has tracked his prey. Your green looks awesome. For no other reason, he invited lives into death. The question then is whether or not he can stomach assassin as his pa. Heck yeah! I'm ready to become what I need to be, my assassin. Then you are one of us. Hello, Inquisitor. My name is Air. It is nice to finally meet you. Mm. Come. You know the mind. Now let me show you the many ways to end a body. Woo! Sorry, fellas. I appreciate your efforts. All right. Let's level up now, freaking finally. Will be an assassin. Hidden blades. Hmm. You let from the shadows like a thrown blade. Hit your target flurry strikes from your anger. Okay. So I hit somebody three times. Nice. Nice. I did it, an assassin. Have I talked to you? Pretty sure I have. Lord no, I don't think I have. Bonnie Sims at your service. I trust good secret was not your course. Now that you've come to some good fortune, you deserve an upgrade. As master of the tradesman, I stand ready to supply your every okay. need. Okay. Who or what are the tradesmen? 
a following of sympathetic and profit-minded individuals. Her hat is awesome. Craftsmen is Yay. Oh, Segret died, right. It's a shame Segret didn't survive Haven. It is, but one must continue. That's it. He was a shrewd man, but he was not too nah. pleasant. It was time arrangements were made. I shall make every effort to prove that this is an upgrade. Because <laughs> that's because I can't delegate. Not yet. Oh, do, do, do. We'll speak another time. Certainly, Lord Inquisitor. Oh, do, 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 do. Eh? I've been meaning to thank uh, you. There are a hundred things that need your attention. You didn't have to take the time to help me, and yet you did. It was a good cause. If the history you pursue benefits the wardens, then it was worth it. I've never been more certain of my decision. Yes. To join you. Uh, we'll just haha. Leliana makes sure my sordid secrets <laughs> come to light. Well then, I won't pry. I prefer to go on believing only good things about you. Varric's friend Hawk said there were suspicions of corruption in Grey Warden ranks. Do you know anything about that? Corruption. What sort of corruption? Corypheus. He's been known to influence the minds of wardens. That could very well explain why so many have disappeared. How are you? Are you feeling all right? No voices or anything? If I start hearing things, I promise you'll be the first to know. Uh, we can... What do you think of the Inquisition? Shake this yeah. world to its foundations if you willed it. Inner circle? You must have some feelings about our friends. I fear for Cassandra sometimes. Yeah. The way she throws herself into battle. I've never known a warrior like her. Anyone else? You must have some feelings about our friends. Talked with Solus the other day. <laughs> yeah. That man knows all there is to know about everything. <sighs> we should return to our duties. Freaking love you, Blackwall. He really is. He's fantastic. Let's talk to you. All's well. How the horses? How are your charges? Well supplied. Surprisingly well. Not many could feed these people, let alone their mouths. Ash family. Makes me are your wife and daughter. Elena's minding the farms. Sienna's to I miss them. But someone has to save Any the news? world. No. Too busy yep, to hear okay. things. And that farewell. Make her be with you. Let's see. I never used the horses. Our mounts have never had But I do like to have a heart if I can. I've never had an exotic. I don't I'm not quite sure how one would I know how to get a Dracolisk. But Yeah, uh, uh-huh. Let's see. Do I have anything? Hmm. We've only got one. 450. Eh, we won't worry about it right now. Let's make sure everybody's been talked with, though. I mean, I, we did initially because we had to, like, you had to, to, to get them all to go back to go to their spots, but I don't know if I've actually spoken to them in their spots. We could talk to Cole, though, about the spider webs. Oh, this is a dangerous place. Yes. Oh, I've missed these songs. We have almost leveled up again. Inquisitor? Rumors? What's the word out there? Someone requested a dragon flagon. I, I would have loved to have seen that. What's the current mood? Scorn. Why? As you, you don't were. ever. 
Explain why. Alright, well, we're gonna have to fight a dragon soon, aren't we? You're doing good work, boss. I like how this Inquisition is coming. Next time you're free, why don't you come Ooh, grab cool. a drink? I'll introduce you to All the right. chargers. Alright. Oh, uh, let's talk about Saharon. Can you tell me more about Saharon? It was a damn ugly place. Only getting uglier when I left. Between the Fog Warriors, the Talashoth, my people, and the Vince, you were lucky to go a day without blood. <sighs> what do you want to know? Whoa. What are things like for the natives of Saharan? I remember one guy. He made these things, fish wrapped in thin bread. Nice guy. Talk to him every morning. So, one time I'm asking about his bad back, and I see he's nervous, trying to tell me something with his eyes. Next thing I know, his assistants draw knives and come at my team. The rebels had forced him to poison my food. And then? I'd seen how nervous he was, so I hadn't eaten anything. A couple of my guys weren't so lucky. We killed the rebels. I lost two men to the poison, another to knife wounds. My friend who made the fish wraps died with a knife in his throat. Close quarters fight. He was caught in the middle. That is what things are like for the natives of Sahara. Caught in the middle. What were the Fog Warriors like? They were the worst of the rebels. They trained for stealth attacks. They made this fog. I never saw any mages, so I figured it was alchemy, not magic. They were almost invisible in it. I'd be on patrol in the market square. The fog would roll in, and before I knew it, half my squad dead without a sound. It almost sounds like you admire them. They didn't use poison. They didn't hurt civilians, and they were damn good fighters. You have to respect that. Plus, they hit the Vince as hard as they hit us. Hearing some terrified Magister scream, My slaves! Where are my slaves? In the fog, always put a smile on my face. <laughs> Tell me about the Talvashoth. When Canari can't handle the fighting in Saharan or lose faith in the Kune, they go rogue. They flee into the wilderness and turn into bandits, attacking everyone. They're vicious, savage. You look at them and you can see why my people needed the Kuhn to stay civilized. Yeah. Isn't that what you did, though? Hey, when I burned out, I didn't go rogue. I reported in and went where the Ben Hasrath sent me. I'm doing my job, serving the Kuhn out here. I'm not some bandit. Nope. I am nothing like you them. You are nothing like them. Tell me about the Tevinta people you fought. The Vint sent forces to Saharan every autumn. Guess they didn't like the summer heat. We had some good fights on the beaches, standing in knee-high water foaming red with blood, ships on fire around us. The cities were worse. Free bit of advice. Don't let the Inquisition forces get suckered into urban combat. No. Nope. Why do you hate Tevinta forces so much? What makes them so bad? It's not their armies. It's their spies. They bloodied Saharan year-round, killing loyalists, supporting rebels, Alam had no city administrator. Nobody would accept the position. The last four who held it died inside a year. Trying to conquer a country is one thing. Making it so nobody can live there, that just screws everyone. See you later, Bo. Nice talking with you, boss. Let's go get a drink. Good to see you, boss. Let's get drinks, buddy. You said we should go get some drinks and meet your company. Yeah, come on. It'll be fun. After that depressing conversation, we'll, we'll get some drinks, lighten the mood. Ah, good. We're not drinking alone. How you doing, creme de la creme? Mm. Your worship. I'm so glad he has someone new to hit with that joke. Uh, yeah, yeah, um, uh, uh, what is that? I don't know. I think I did that last time, but I don't. I don't know. Yeah, we'll try that one. Is he always like this? I'm afraid so. The chief loves his nicknames. Hey, when I was growing up, my name was just this series of numbers. We all give each other nicknames under the cune. They ever wear shirts under the cune, chief? Or do they just run around binding their breasts Ooh. like that? <laughs> it's a harness, Krem. <laughs> Yes, for your pillowy mouth. <laughs> Let me know if you need help binding. You could really chisel something out of that overstuffed look. Uh, when did you know? In the I don't know. I don't know what this is. Wait, are you? 
I didn't realize. You didn't? Well, great. Now we can all talk about it. In Kunadar, Krem would be an Akunatlak. That's what we call someone born one gender, but living like another. And Kunari don't treat those Akun people any differently than a real man. They are real men. Just like you are. Maybe your people aren't so bad after all. <laughs> don't get your hopes up, Krem. We still come down hard on the back talk. <laughs> anyway, here's the rest of the charges. Or what's left of the rest. A lot of them went looking for stronger drinks. Don't have them here? We've got Rocky and Skinner there. And over there are Stitches, Dalish, <laughs> and Grim. Crazy bunch of assholes. But they're Indeed. mine. Indeed. Uh... Why aren't you with your clan? Our keeper thought I should see the world a little. Dalish don't have Templars, so they can't have too many mages in a clan at once. Now, sir, you know I'm not a mage. That'd make me an apostate. You carry a staff, Dalish. It's a bow. It's a bow. A bow with a giant glowing crystal at the tip. Yes, it's for aiming. Old elven trick you wouldn't understand. <laughs> were you born on the surface, or are you from Orzammar? Orzammar. I got exiled. Stupid noble crap. Also, I accidentally blew up a bit of the shape. Yeah. Rocky's one of our best sappers. He can take down enemy fortifications faster than a golem. I'm also working on my own version of Kunari Black Powder. I've almost Almost got... not quite. Yeah. You really don't. Uh stitches? I take it you're the company healer. Yes. First time I ever picked up a sword was when the blight hit Ferelden. Never put it back down. He makes a potion that'll put you right back on your feet after even the toughest fight. It tastes terrible, though. But that's because it's a poultice, <clears throat> sir. You're not supposed, You're to, not drink supposed to drink it. So, how do you join the charges? Killed some people. <clears throat> Skinner didn't take kindly to nobles testing their new swords on the elves in her alienage. Bull took me in. Now I get paid to kill Shams. This is actually really good behavior for her. She's not marking her territory. <laughs> That's so awesome. Grim, is it? <laughs> Grim doesn't That's talk That's the name much. he gave me in the beginning. I'm pretty sure he's the lost king of some small country. Or chieftain. Like <laughs> uh, this is quite a group. You really take in anyone, don't you? Anyone who can carry their weight in a fight. And who can put up with your bullshit, Chief? No man can beat the Chargers. Yeah, a song. Uh, <laughs> you know For some reason, even the women sound like men. For everybody, battlefield will gladly raise a cup. No matter what tomorrow holds, our Lord be pointing up. <laughs> Thanks for coming by, boss. Glad you could meet some of us. Yeah. Them. That is pretty legit. Vague, so vague as to be meaningless. Oh, Krem. Let's chat with Krem. Inquisitor. That's got ah. something to it. We're happy to be here, Your Worship. You need anything, let me know. Ah, oh, tell me about yourself, Krem. I wanted to talk about you, if that's all right. You know, I'm from Tevinter. Wasn't a slave, but even citizens have it rough if they're not majors. I was a soldier, but women joined the ranks under a different program. When they found out I was passing, it got ugly. I ran, met Bull near the border, and ended up here. Not a life I'd wish on everyone, but it'll do. Why? Why did you decide to live as a man? I didn't decide anything. I've been like this my whole life. My parents wanted me out, married. I tried to oh, yeah. find a nice family at some moment. Every day, put on a dress, look into my father's shaving mirror, and just hate myself. How did your family react when you started? My mother wanted to throw me out. She said if I didn't marry well, I was dooming the family to slavery. She was happy to take the money I set as a soldier, though. Not that it mattered in the end. My father. When I was little, he'd angle his mirror down so I could pretend to shave, just like him. He never said anything, but I think he knew. I used to do that, too. I used toothpaste. I would brush my teeth, and you had the foam on your face. And my dad only shaved every now and then with foam, foam stuff, but I would use my toothbrush... And like shave it off, shave off the toothpaste off my face. But I'm, I'm pretty much, I'm, I'm pretty, pretty solidly a woman. 
You said you left Tavinta when they discovered your secret. Women are allowed to serve, but only in certain ranks and disciplines. I was up for promotion, but the healer I'd bribed to sign off on my physical had to tend to a uh -oh. sick minister. When the replacement healer saw what was or wasn't in my <laughs> sense, he made threats. It was slavery or death, so I knocked him out and ran. Well, jeez. I'm surprised you escaped from the Tavinta Imperium so easily. It's not like I lived in Minrathas. I was in Trevis, not far from the Navarran border. It helped that I was being chased as a deserter, not a runaway slave. Slave hunters only get paid for what they catch. They're efficient bastards. It's against the law to pass as a man. It's a crime to lie on an Imperial application for service. Would have been a heavy fine or slavery. For ten silvers, the healer said he'd tell the Tribune I was sick in the head. Some pity for the mad little girl. That was when I hit yeah. him. I'd served for a few years. I was good at hitting. You're down tootin'. What's Tavinta like for a citizen? Someone who isn't a slave or a mage? I'm of the Separati. Citizens who aren't mages. Mages are in charge and everyone knows it. But a wealthy merchant can have an easy life. At the low end, people just try to stay out of slavery. My father was a tailor. I joined the army after the Imperial slaves drove him under. How did slaves drive your family out of business? My father made shirts, aprons, that kind of thing. Nothing fancy. One of the magisters had a pet project to prevent the poor from dying of cold in the winter. Nice, right? He had Imperial slaves making simple peasant clothes and selling them for almost nothing. That must have been so My deep slave put out a clave met prose as my sister could fall out with much. Uh, I don't know if that's a commentary or not. I'm <laughs> like, instead of buying, like, I don't know, in America, it's like we buy, like, a stuff made in China, you know, like from like dirt cheap prices because it's basically being made by people who are sort of in this form of slavery. They get paid money, but it's all, it's a ridiculous amount, like a penny a day, you know? It's difficult to compete with someone who doesn't get paid. That's Tavinta. My father sold himself into slavery. He's one of the service publicists. The Imperium owns slaves now. We'll talk later. Yeah, it's a... Uh... It's a bit depressing. When the champion was there. I visited the Sabre clan. They'd lost their Hala. There was talk of an exchange. That's Elven stuff, all right. I heard there weren't any Dalish mm. left there. They left Kirkwall fast. Like anyone sensible. Yep. What are you, like a waitress? Let's go chat with Sarah. Have you read this? I think we have. I hear Vachel was good pay for you, Inquisitor. Time to go see if my friends came through, too. Got a location for a stash. Hopefully something nice for my trouble. Well, your trouble. Just let me know when you're ready to head out. Be sure to bring your empty pockets. I don't have empty pockets. Who is putting up the reward for this? Don't know. Sometimes it's pass the hat. Sometimes it's I lifted this from Master's vault. Doesn't matter, does it? Job done. Time to get what we're owed. Not yet. I'm not ready to go just yet. Your choice, yeah. Only so long it'll stay hidden. All right. She didn't like approve or disapprove of the fact that I did. Oh, I think she did actually when it when it happened. Hey, Cole. Guess what, Cole? I'm an yeah. I'm an well, assassin too. Thank you. She knows they're going to kill her. Can only save what's important. Precious space to remember her smile. I, I have no idea who she's talking I've heard about. about. Some oddities here in the keep. Was that you? Yes, maybe. What was it? Plums by the window. Someone is leaving peeled plums on the windowsill. It's attracting flies. Spiders need to eat. Spider webs. And healers need something to treat infected wounds, like spider webs. The plums are already dead. They don't mind helping. Uh, turnips? Can I assume you're responsible for the turnips that have shown up in the fireplaces? They don't smell the same, Raw. Um. Let's talk about something. Have I else. not encountered that right. guy then? All right. I'll talk to you later. Probably. Uh, I think sometimes, um, like Bull makes a comment when you become a Reaver. Read. Nice. When I reached down, my dagger was gone. Just gone. Who's talking? Now where I found it. 
the thing was filled to the brim. Got the strangest feeling. I know someone. Oh my gosh. I can't recall who. Is he? Oh my gosh. That was weird. Oh, is it you guys? Okay. Cullen. Oh, Cullen. Oh, oh no. As leader of the Inquisition, you... Oh. There's something I must He tell. breaks my heart. You're being especially serious today. I know. Lyrium grants Templars our abilities, but it controls us as well. Those cut off suffer. Some go mad, others die. We have secured a reliable source of Lyrium for the Templars here. But I no longer take it. You stopped? When I joined the Inquisition. It's been months now. Um... Why are you doing this? After what happened in Kirkwall, I couldn't. I will not be bound to the Order or that life any longer. Whatever the suffering this I accepted... This must have been a huge decision. I would not put the Inquisition at risk. I've asked Cassandra to watch me. If my ability to lead is compromised, I will be relieved from duty. Are you in pain? I can endure it. Thank you for telling me. I respect what you're doing. Thank you, Inquisitor. The Inquisition's army must always take priority. Should anything happen, I will defer to Cassandra's judgment. Huh, huh. Oh my gosh. Uh, anything else? Was there something you needed? Are you wi- uh, Is there anything I should know? Repairs to Skyhold's fortifications are progressing. Our scouts report no immediate threats in the surrounding area. We are fortunate Solus knew of this place. Indeed. All right. That's all for now. I'm sure you have other matters. Um, there's nobody over there, so we can run by and chat with Solus. The running is kind of funny sounding. Solus, my friend. Ah, oh, okay, we're good then. Never mind. We'll talk later. Goodbye. Oh my gosh, it's actually. Wait a sec. It is actually really weird to see him. Oh man, it's been a while. Did I get the thing up here? Boop, boop, boop. Yes, I did. All right, let's go talk to Dorian! Ah! <laughs> oh, I ran into the wall. I'm so excited, so excited, Dor oh god, I can't even handle how excited I am. <laughs> Sorry. So I take it you're Dalish? Is that the correct word? Uh... Uh, it is, yes. Yes, that's right. We don't have Dalish clans coming northward, for obvious reasons. So I've never met one of your people before, although I've heard about them. Yeah? I hope this won't be an issue. Oh, no, no. I am here to help you deal with the Venatori after uh, I appreciate your help. And I appreciate your help, Dorian. Excellent. Mutual appreciation is a grand way to begin. Okay. I should go. Try not to kill anyone. Oh, Dorian, me. you have no idea. I heard a little rumor uh, about you. Is what? Indeed, so? something's been done. Oh! That's a let him know less. Um. The skills are useful. The skills involved are rather handy. I should say. With the amount of killing you do. <laughs> oh, God! I don't kill that. <laughs> Joking. I'm only surprised you didn't kill someone <laughs> over here. At any rate, if you ever intend to make it an actual profession, Why? tell me. The Antivan crows have nothing on the Imperium. I know people. Oh, <laughs> wow. I should go. Try not to kill anyone without That's me. That's really cool. I didn't expect it to come from him. What's on your mind? Uh, you. I should go. And you. <sighs> 
Uh, uh, I keep kind of expecting the beige lady to be here. Inquisitor. Bye bye. As you were. Yes, Inquisitor. Let's turn in some stuff. Oh, come on, we got this. We got this. Look at all that. We turn it. We might even level up from that. That turning in stuff tends to. I'm like scanning the books really quick. Dorian is so cute. Freaking adorable. He's not he's not cute or adorable. He's just so totally freaking rad. Let's go where's where's the door? Door. Oh, it didn't give me like it didn't say, "Hey, here's your points for turning in things." Or do I have to like get a perk for that or something? Um, read. Uh, we are so close. Hello? Whoa. You've made such intriguing design choices for the castle, <laughs> my dear. They must be inspired. Oh, uh, it's best to play it safe. Thank you, Vivian. I'm glad you approve. When things have settled down a bit, I will take you to Val Royo and introduce Please do so. the seamstress. And appearances are important. We can't have you mistaken for a commoner. I should be one of them. If I want them to see me as a man of the people, I should look like one of them. By all means, appeal to the common folk, but be a figure that inspires them. You command an army of the faithful, outfitted by the coin of the nobility. You must be a man who the common folk aspire to be and to whom the nobility bow. And you think I can accomplish this purely through fashion? It is a weapon in your arsenal. Don't overlook it, my dear. Indeed. It's As a good the point. stories of the Inquisition spread, more and more people will wonder if you are the man they say you are. They will question what they've heard, but they will believe what they see. They must see someone greater than legends. If that's your standard for me, what does the Divine have to live up to? Andraste Ooh, she and the approves. Maker cast very large shadows. The Divine absolutely must set the example for all Thedas. She must seem to be the embodiment of the Maker to the Faithful. She needs the authority of the Maker and the charisma of Andraste. It will be no small task to fill that vacant throne. Uh-huh. Uh-huh, Vivian. You know what? I'm kind of surprised we can't actually... If we're going to be going crazy with, like, reforms, we can't put a man on the Divine's throne or whatever. Do you need something, my dear? Um. Talk about our friends. What are your thoughts about the others in the Inquisition? I don't know what to make of Solus. So much knowledge and so little personal history. I find that peculiar. I do, actually. I do indeedy. Can I, can I, oh, I can't. Ooh, tee hee hee. I think eventually that does open up. Uh, oh, we should talk to Varric, too, but let's go up and chat with our fellow rogue, Liliana. I believe we've read all the things that are up here. Whoa! Hello! Our agents have encountered more followers of Corypheus, these so-called Venatori. Their leader, Calpurnia, Calpurnia. has been searching elven ruins. For what, I do not know. I propose we stop the Venatori before they find what they seek. Do you know anything about Calpurnia? Only that Calpurnia is a name from ancient Tevinta legend. An yeah? unusual one. She was a priestess of Dumat, foster mother to the founder of the Oh. Imperium. A name like that is meant to assure the Venatori they follow in the footsteps of legends. We must prove them wrong. Hmm. What strategy do you have in mind? A subtle approach. These Venatori have been shadowing a merchant called Vicinius on Calpurnia's orders. They've investigated his finances, surveyed his warehouses. Huh. I propose that you meet with Vicinius. Flatter him. Find out what he knows of Calpurnia. Vicinius sounds like a Tevinter name. 
born in Tallow. Although he claims to be from Virantium, he sells rare oils and amber, and prefers red wine to white. What side of the bed <laughs> does he sleep on? He's unremarkable. <laughs> I cannot think why I call him a <laughs> That was awesome. What side of... Just totally straight-faced coming from Talon. What side of the bed does he sleep on? Might as well tell me that, too. What if Vicinius is as much in the dark as we are? It never hurts to eliminate an avenue of inquiry. And we should tread lightly with Indeed. the Venatori. They have contacts and spies, just as we do. The sooner you speak with Vicinius, the better. Indeed, I will definitely. I think... I think Leliana and I are gonna get along, and with her, it's not so much charm as it is just to the point, you know. Um, yes. If flattery doesn't work, I'll try something stronger. As bards say, begin with the sweetest verse. Vicinius could be a most helpful friend. I'll make arrangements for you to visit his summer home in Valrayo. Hopefully, your attention should be enough to pique his interest. We'll have Calpenia's secrets yet. <laughs> this is so fun. This is so fun. Oh, let's look up Calpurnia, because we don't know anything about her. Wait, no. Codex. Wait, what? What was that? Calpurnia. Scary looking. Characters. Let's see. We've got Black Wall. Calpurnia. I had never heard of Calpurnia before I joined the Venatori. To vent her circles have no record of a mage of that name, so I thought her perhaps a magister from one of the old houses who took a false title. Calpurnia appears to have no background at all, however, and offers no hints to her past. She is too shrewd to flatter, even if she did not spend half her hours training as her master's star pupil should. I cannot openly challenge her. The woman is a fair mistress to her followers, and her passion to restore the Imperium's glory strengthens their hearts and loyalty. Besides, her spells blister with power. Only a fool would try to undermine Calpurnia by force. We will require a lighter touch. Note from Marconius Penanix, Ben Hasrath agent to the Canari, dated several days before his mysterious death by fire. <sighs> yep, doesn't surprise me. Okay, look at all that. We're not looking at that. <laughs> um, Varric. We have to talk to Varric. Hiya! Uh, so, oh, I almost landed on you. I almost landed on you, Solus. It's all good, it's all good. Okay, Varric. Corivius is back. Oh, shit. You said he was a darkspawn or a magister. What is he really? I'm not sure. I don't think Corivius really knows either. He's definitely a dark spawn, but when we found him, it was pretty obvious he hadn't hmm. heard that. He thinks he's a magister, a priest of Dumat, in fact. He says he broke into the Golden City, like in the Chantry tale. Um. If you and Hawk defeated him once, we can do it again. We didn't just think Corypheus was dead. He was dead. No pulse, no breath, full of stab wounds. There wasn't a lot of room for doubt. It makes me wonder. I thought the Wardens imprisoned Corypheus to use him. Maybe they did it because he can't be killed. How did you and Hawk even wind up in a Grey Warden prison for ancient <laughs> Darkspawn? Corypheus sent people after Hawk. He actually got control of an entire Carter clan. Made them drink Darkspawn blood. We yeah. Shit. We tracked the carter to an old dwarven fort or something in the mountains. Of course, it turned out to be a trap. They needed Hawk's blood to open the locks holding Corypheus, and they drew us into the prison to get it. There has to be a way to defeat Corypheus. We'll find it, don't worry. I hope you're right. Laker's breath, what have I let loose? Brutally murdered is not really the same as unleashed <laughs> upon the world, Barry. In this case, uh, it might be. But you've got more important things to do than listen to me worry. Just let me know when you want something I do want to bring Varric out. I need to, like, have, like, a, a rotation. Like, Cassandra! Can't forget Cassandra! Oh, no, not gonna worry about it. Cassandra. We've talked to everybody else. Oh, and I want to go, I want to go dye my clothes. Oh, whoop, we've heard that one before. Hello! 
Oh, it's a book time! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Good book. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> yes, because I suddenly. <laughs> oh, that. Just reports from in Commander bound Cullen. form. You're an excellent liar. It's of no interest to you, I'm certain. It's a book. Mm, I can see that. One of Varric's tales, Swords and Shields, the latest chapter. Uh, the latest chapter, meaning you read them all. Not <laughs> since this all began. We've been busy. She's read this one three times. You! I told you to stop spying! <laughs> you read it out loud to me. I don't like it. <laughs> I never did that. <laughs> it's literature. Smutty. <laughs> Whatever you do, don't what? come back. Why would I do that? Oh, look how handsome I am. I should do that romantic line. No, I shouldn't. No. N no. He's, oh my gosh, he's gorgeous. Wouldn't dream of it. Me? No. I would never. <laughs> They're terrible. And my I can see him getting with Cassandra. And this one ends in a cliffhanger. I know Varric is working on the next. He must be. Pretend you don't know this about me. <laughs> and I walk away right back to Varric. Oh, papa. <laughs> quickly now, quickly. Can I? Oh, I can't do my roll thing in here. People, 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 people. Derek! Eric. Ah! Cassandra wants a book! Cassandra is <laughs> waiting for the next issue of Swords I don't even, I don't even try. I must have heard that wrong. It sounded like you just said that Cassandra <laughs> read my book. Oh, she's a big fan. She's a pretty big fan, in fact. Are we talking about the same Cassandra? Tall, grumpy seeker, like stabbing <laughs> things? Wait, did you say the romance serial? Oh, she'll be waiting for a while then. I haven't finished it and wasn't planning to. That book is easily the worst I've ever written. The last issue barely sold enough to pay for the ink. Oh, come on. I need it as a gift. <laughs> Cassandra seems to like it. Well, Cassandra seems to be hooked on it. And I honestly thought a hole in the sky was the weirdest thing that could happen. So, you want me to finish writing the latest issue of my worst serial for yeah. Cassandra? Oh, that's such a terrible idea. I have to do it. <laughs> on one condition, I get to be there when you give her the yep. book. You've got a deal. I'll get to work then. You know, the fact that the book is terrible just makes it more worthwhile somehow. <laughs> Hey, a reading thing. Oh, this is the way the artificer. I didn't realize. Um, so did Cassandra, uh, what's her name? Oh, um, should we, can we go, oh, uh, can I, can I admit, talk to you? Hello. Honored Inquisitor. Got to see her in a way. Don't know it's worth to the fight exactly. But it's good workmanship. Uh, goodbye. Another time. Best of the you as well. Inquisitor. Let's go grab Cassandra. Why? Because this episode's getting really freaking long. And it's probably gonna be cut in half, except it keeps getting interrupted, so I have no idea how long it's actually going. Cassandra, I have a surprise for you. I wrote it real quick. Like super quick. Like super fast. What have you done now? I get it, Seeker. You're still sore after our spat. I'm not a child, Varric. Do not suggest I'm without reason. Uh, a peace offering. The next chapter of Swords and Shields. <clears throat> I hear you're a fan. <sighs> this yep. is your doing. Oh, yes. <laughs> 
Do you really think I've missed this? Well, if you're not interested, <laughs> you're not interested. Still needs editing anyhow. What? <laughs> His face. <laughs> you're probably wondering what happens to the night captain after the last chapter. Nothing should happen to her. She was already <laughs> accused. Well, it turns out the guardsman. Don't tell me. <laughs> This is the part where you thank the Inquisitor. I don't normally give sneak peeks, after all. Oh, Cassandra! I... Thank you. She's so freaking cute. Uh... <laughs> this was everything I'd hoped. I know how you feel. I wonder if I have time to read the first part. But don't forget to tell all your friends. Eric, don't ruin it. Oh, completely <laughs> worth it. <laughs> oh my gosh, I leveled up again. Look at me go. Let's freaking get a get a point going then. Um Oh, I can pass through enemies without being detected now. Okay. Um, the roll. Oh, so I can go twice as far? Hmm. Huh. Oh. Okay. I like the assassin stuff, but I also want to make sure that I've gotten a lot of this. Ooh, I do want that one. Ooh, I do, I do, I do. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, yes. Oh my gosh, there's so many good ones. Well, I was, I was looking at the stealth one, too. I don't really need to leap farther yet at this point. But being able to move faster will be very nice. Very, very nice. Okie dokie. Level 10! Woo! Okay. We can... Oh, I did... I wanted to go die... Wait. It will need frequent cleaning. Inquisitor. Hey. Is that you Inquisitor. talking? Oh, creepy. Inquisitor. All right then. All right, I guess I will call this episode here. I'm going to hop into the armory really quick and just dye some armor really quick and I'll show you guys the new armor when we come back for the next one. Where do demons come from? They come from, from, from baby cranes, you know? <laughs> but where did they come from? <laughs> oh, nice. All right. Uh, anyway, thank you guys for joining me on this lovely episode. This was fun, walking around, talking to people. I've missed this game. I have. It's fun to come back and change the change up the pace a little bit. So thanks again. I'll see you guys in the next one.